Yesterday, uh, we celebrated the Baltimore Ravens officially being in the playoffs. They officially made it, even with two games left. Like, that stuff just doesn't happen to the Ravens. So, thank you to the Bengals for beating the Patriots. But, even more importantly, thank you to the Ravens for putting it, despite everything... And we still got a lot to talk about. But despite everything, we, we're just going to focus on the good right now, though. But despite everything, the Ravens, they have to thank themselves for putting themselves in this position. Hey, they could have been in a better position earlier. They could have clinched by that. But at the same time, they are in the position that they're in. And it's a beautiful thing. So we are going to celebrate that and be happy about that. Because, again, the Ravens have punched their ticket in to the dance. Um, now, what happens when they get there is to be determined, but we'll see then. But something else yesterday from yesterday's game that was just so, so special. And it just felt like it, it, it made all of our hearts just melt in a good way. Um, it came after what's been literally like forever. Um, Y'all saw Robert Kraft. Robert Kraft flew out that Patriots fan. Uh, who had just maintained his composure despite the lady jumping all in his face and who knows what kind of crazy stuff that she was saying because when alcohol's flowing and people have their thought processes going in, in the heat of games and whatnot, emotions are riding high, especially games like that Raiders and Patriots game from last week. Who knows all the type of stuff that she was letting fly out of mouth. I'm sure it wasn't team keep it clean, but the Patriots fan, he just stood there. He stood there and he was posted up. So Robert Kraft, that video went crazy and he saw that and he was like, hey, you represent us. That was nice what you did for us and how you represent Patriots fans. So he, he flew him out to the game. I said, oh, wow. Well, oh, that's something right there. And they lost that game too. But it did help the Ravens out. But um, that just made me think like, man, Steve Bashotti. Steve Bashotti, you need to be flying a bunch of us Ravens fans out to M&T Bank um, because of what we've had to endure, the, the, what we've had to watch from the offense for a lot of times this year. Because it's been ugly, especially recently, it's been ugly, ugly. So we deserve some compensation. But anyway, yesterday, um, we had to celebrate something on offense that hadn't happened in a long time. And multiple things that didn't happen in a long time. One was just the fact that the Ravens scored a passing touchdown on offense. That hadn't happened since November 27th. Yesterday was December 24th. So in a month, in one month, the Ravens had not scored an, a passing touchdown on offense. But then even bigger than that, even bigger than that, it was a passing touchdown to a wide receiver. A passing touchdown to a wide receiver. So, it, it, like, it, that yesterday, that, that made me so happy, man. It really did. It made me so happy because it's been so long since that happened. Mm, mm, mm. Shout out to Mystical, by the way, and Nivea. But anyway, like, when, when, when Tyler Huntley threw that pass to, to Demarcus Robinson, Demarcus Robinson came down with it and caught it. I was, I, was, I was jumping. I was so hyped, man. I was like, there go Pro Bowler Tyler Huntley right there. Because um, the, the, the last time that Ravens threw a pass and touchdown to a wide receiver. Well, I should actually say the last time a wide receiver caught a pass and touchdown for the Ravens. There, there have been some that have been thrown, but there have been some that have been dropped. But anyway, the last time uh, a Ravens receiver caught a pass and touchdown, I think they said it was week three. Week three. Week three. Week three. And that's crazy. That's crazy. Like, I, I don't know how Raven's been getting by like that. I don't know how. It's, it's crazy to think about. Since week three. Week three. <laughs> that's, that's insane, man. Just looking at these games and, and just thinking about it. And it's like, wow. Against the Bills, Bengals, Giants, Browns, Bucks, Saints, Panthers, Jaguars, Broncos, Steelers, Browns. Then they finally did it against the Falcons. That, that was reason to celebrate. It really is. And it's like with the offense, we got to really hold on to the positives a lot. Because there, there, there's some positives, but there could be a lot of negatives. And we ain't talking about that today, though. 
We'll say that for tomorrow, but we, we ain't talking about the negatives today. But you got to hold on to the positives. You got to cherish the positives that much more, especially something like that, because they mean so much. And that's why with this team, man, oh, with this team, these Baltimore Ravens, man, they, 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 they take you for a ride, man. Um, and, and you just hope like, man, like they can start incorporating stuff like that. More, more, more. And because right, they'll have their missed opportunities. They'll have their, their things that they won't see, like the quarterback they may miss a read or something like that. It happens. It happened with Tyler Huntley. It happened with Lamar sometimes, too. They might, they might miss a read. It could be somebody open, and they may be watching somebody else, or they may be fixated on a different player or something like that, and they may miss somebody who could be wide open. It happens. It happens. It's, it happens to any quarterback. So, but... It just uh, that's why the, the, when when the Marcus Robinson came down with that ball, yes, man, I I was hype, man. I was so happy, man. It, it, like it it felt like to me it, it it that that felt so like that moment to me was bigger than probably what it should have been, but that it was so big. Like I just I felt like genuinely happy, man, because I'm like, yeah, let's go, let's go, man. Especially because we've seen with Ravens offense. Like um somebody I saw somebody on Twitter I forgot who it was they said um yesterday they were like it, it feels like Greg Roman plays this game he plays this game within the game where Greg Roman he's like all right let me see how close I can get the Ravens to the end zone without actually getting to the end zone um and, and you know especially after last week's game after last week's game where the Ravens didn't score a touchdown and they put up three point like did, stuff like that. It, it just makes you appreciate when they score a touchdown that much more. It makes you appreciate it that much more, man. So that was it. That that's all I. I just I just wanted to share my joy and my happiness about that with y'all. I mean, those of y'all that went to live stream yesterday, we shared it already. But I just had to reiterate it one more time because that was a special moment, and we hope for many more of those special moments to come. Let's see what happens. Let's see what goes down. And we'll go from there. I love y'all team. Keep it clean. Shout out to Tyler Huntley and Demarcus Robinson for making that happen yesterday and making all of us Ravens fans so happy. We out.